This is Asia First. It's 7 a.m. here in Singapore. I'm Julie Yu. Our top story this hour, clearing a major hurdle. The Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine is on the cusp of emergency use authorization in the United States after an FDA advisory panel recommends approval of the jab, which is already in use in the U.K. I'm Teresa Tang, also this morning battling the virus and the fallout. COVID-19 infections hit a new record in the Japanese capital, Tokyo, while India's caseload sinks to a third of its September peak. This as the European Union reaches a $2 trillion pandemic-era budget agreement that was held up for months because of a dispute over rule of law standards. Plus, trade negotiations going nowhere. The UK and EU prepare for the very real possibility of a no-deal Brexit. The deal on the table is really not, at the moment, right for the, for the UK. I'm Avril Hong with business news and a lack of progress on deal making in Washington, D.C. over more stimulus dragging down Wall Street along with disappointing unemployment data. But one stock shining overnight, sharing economy star Airbnb making its big debut, now boasting a market cap of more than $86 billion as shares end the day up about 112%. The U.S. facing a major turning point in its battle against COVID-19. Reports coming in that the Food and Drug Administration's expert panel has given the green light to the country's first vaccine against the coronavirus. The vote went 17 to 4 to approve the vaccine by Pfizer-BioNTech for emergency use. The FDA has asked Pfizer to include severe allergic reactions to safety studies. This